big hello to everybody again, Tim Man here. Bit of a travel back in time with this video. Um, grandfather passed away not long ago and I was helping my grandmother clean up his stuff and inside a box I found this old um, generator that was used to ring the old telephone bells and thought well that looked pretty interesting I've had it in the cupboard for a little while and I thought oh, I'll just pull it out and have a little play with it anyhow I'm holding it like this cranking the handle and got severe electric shocks so I decided to have a little bit more of a play around with it it's got four horseshoe magnets on it um, nice uh, brass cradle inside there's a rotor, uh, two pole rotor, two lots of very very fine copper winding, hundreds and hundreds of turns around it. And also on the shaft it's got a um, brass armature with breaks or gaps in it which hits a little brush like thing to earth it out and you can hear it every time you crank it it sort of clicks so about 1870 to 1885 the year of it is um, as close as I could find something to it on the internet that's about the year so I was just wondering what it would be like as a generator so I've got this these one of these U-Boot um, LED car light bulbs it's a 14 volt and it's got uh, what 3, 6, 9, 12, 14 17 LEDs in it and um, I don't know what wattage it is it's only got 14 volts written on it but anyway what I do done is um, I just hooked one end on the ground, another end on this what looked to me to be a pickup because it's got a screw in it. So I'm guessing that's where they used to connect the wires. I just ran it through a bridge rectifier. Um, oh, crank the handle just a little bit. And as you can see, we got one very, very, very bright light, and I'm, that's so free to turn. So very, very free. This thing generates a lot of power. I've uh, hooked it up to this little 300 volt cap out of a um, old disposable flash camera, like the old Fuji and it pumped it up to the 300 volts in about 20 turns so even with a load on it um, it feels like there's nothing there it's just free spinning so I thought I'd just make up a little video of that because I found it very interesting it's got the little oil pots here for all the brass bushes um, I did notice in between here it's got a set of contact points that when you crank the handle they open and close because you're cranking the handle and it's just going backwards and forwards opening and closing the points um, but even with the shaft off of that not opening and closing those little set of points it still generates power but if I disconnect the light and crank it you can see sparks between those sets of points which would indicate to me a uh, quite high voltage going through there so just thought I'd share that old bit of memorabilia with you and um, it would seem a very long time ago that um, they knew how to produce a lot of current 
with um, very little force required and I mean this thing's geared up quite a bit as you can see so any um, EMF or back EMF on that shaft would whatever the gearing that is you know it's probably five to one would put five times as much on this handle but I can't feel any strain on it at all it's so easy to turn and it's making a lot of light so I'm going to have a little bit more of a look at this and um, I'm just wondering if I can put a rotor on there and drive this with a pulse motor um, or my window motor somehow which would be a uh, very cheap way to make power I believe so I'll let you know what happens with that but yeah I just thought I'd chuck that on there the um, forum, our new forum, our friendly forum, and um, share that with you. See you again.